Four years ago, on January 29th, 2017, six men were murdered at the Islamic Cultural Center of Quebec City, a mosque in the St. Foy neighborhood of Quebec City in Quebec. Now, this year marks the fourth anniversary of that mass shooting that left six people dead and 19 others who were injured. The victims were parents, civil servants, academics, men who left their countries to come to Canada in hope of a better life. The six men can never be forgotten. This pain can never be forgotten. And one of the reasons that officials across Canada are wearing this green patch is a reminder of the, of the green carpet in that masjid. Uh, and Alexander Bissonnette, a 27-year-old student at Laval University who was charged with a lifetime sentence, his act of terror is not ever going to be forgotten. And it's a reminder for us that acts of terrorism, of hate, of Islamophobia happen even in Canada. And we have an obligation not to forget what happened and build a culture, build an environment in Canada where we understand that we have religious freedom, that we are each other's neighbors, that we, we create an atmosphere of love and inclusion rather than an environment of hate. So I can tell you in the city of Brampton, we stand shoulder to shoulder with the Muslim community. When they are attacked, we are attacked because that's the nature of who we are as Canadians. I had the opportunity a few years ago during a FCM conference in Quebec City to actually have dinner. It was during Ramadan and I broke my fast out of respect with the Muslim community uh, in that masjid in St. Foy and to hear the pain they went through. It breaks you down. And I believe it's why we need to do everything we can as public servants to break down the walls of misunderstanding, to find ways to love one another, to learn about each other, to be kind to each other. Because the more you learn about each faith, the more you understand that each faith is about love. There is no room for hatred, not in Quebec, not in Brampton, not anywhere. So on behalf of the city of Brampton, I want to say that our city remembers the tragic events of January 29th. Places of worship should always be safe spaces. We should be able to pray freely to whichever God we worship. We need to find ways to be more tolerant, to bring people together, and to have the type of society where religious freedom is an enshrined right that everyone appreciates. That is about building tolerant communities.